Today I'm doing a video on divorce and remarriage. I'm doing a follow-up video. I did a video before on this and I recently got a comment from someone who said I was a false prophet or a false teacher because of what I discussed, which I still stand by it. And I'm not doing this video solely because that person said that, but because I want to provide another perspective from a well-known teacher and I have on my screen here John MacArthur he's a, a renowned Bible expositor and I want to read and comment on something he said at his church this is what they have on their church website as guidelines for divorce advice for divorce it starts here with God hates divorce which is something that I wholeheartedly totally agree and mentioned in my last video as well. But what I want us to do is read down here and the next page really briefly and make some comments on it. The New Testament grounds for divorce as sexual sin or desertion by an unbeliever. Okay. Uh, I mentioned these two in my last video. So sexual sin and desertion by and on believer those are two things that the new testament provides as grounds he says the first is found in jesus's use of the greek word pornea and you see that in matthew 5 32 and and 1919 this is a general term that encompasses sexual sin such as adultery homosexuality bestiality and incest when one partner violates the unity and intimacy of, mar of a marriage by sexual sin and forsakes his or her covenant obligation, the faithful partner is placed in an extremely difficult situation. After all means, and I agree with that also, after all means are exhausted to bring the sinning partner to repentance, the Bible permits the release of the faithful partner through divorce. So, this is not something you rush into after your partner sins against you in that way. You try to forgive as the Lord has forgiven us. And if that is not going to work, if the sinning partner is unrepentant, then you can proceed with divorce. And you will go through your local church so that they can guide and provide help as you go through such a difficult moment this is not something that anybody does alone because when we're so emotionally involved in things it clouds our judgment the second reason he gives here for permitting divorce which i also touched on in my last video i encourage you to watch my video i'm going to put the link at the bottom of this video the second reason for permitting divorce is in cases where an unbelieving maid does not desire to live with his wife or her believing spouse. And we see that in 1 Corinthians 7, 12 to 15. Because the, the Bible says that God has called us to peace. Divorce is allowed and may be preferable in such situations. Okay. I agree with him there. It's allowed and may be preferable when the unbelieving spouse does not want to live with the believer anymore you were married for example and then you became born again and your husband hasn't been or the reverse happens the wife becomes a believer the husband becomes a believer and the wife hasn't been and the unbelieving spouse wants to leave okay obviously it would be a big mistake if you are Christian when you married a an unbelieving spouse. That would mean you really didn't know what you were doing because Christians are not supposed to marry unbelievers. When an unbeliever desires to leave, trying to keep him or her in the marriage may only create greater tension and conflict. Also, if the unbeliever leaves the marital relationship permanently but is not willing to file for divorce and that happens perhaps uh, because of lifestyle irresponsibility or to avoid monetary obligations then the believer is in an impossible situation of having legal and moral obligations that he or she cannot fulfill 
because the brother or sister is not under bondage in such cases and that and is therefore no longer obligated to to remain married the believer may file for divorce without f fearing the displeasure of god okay i agree with everything he says there and it's similar to what i discussed in my last video again check it out i'll put the link below the the the, the next thing here that i'm going to read really quickly and comment on is what he says here the possibility of remarriage okay because it's one thing for divorce to happen then now what about remarriage okay he says here remarriage is permitted for the faithful partner only when divorce was on biblical grounds that makes sense in fact this is what i want you to remember here the p purpose of a biblical divorce is to make clear that the faithful partner is free to remarry but only in the lord and we can see the reference there romans 7 1 to 3 and first corinthians 7 uh, verse 39 that's really what i wanted to point out in this video that there are two grounds for for divorce that's sexual sin and desertion by an unbelieving partner and the third one obviously is not really divorce is when the partner partner dies in that sense it's not divorce you are you you are free to remarry and there are some people who are mistaken i've had people comment on my channel saying that oh that you can only have a new partner if your old partner dies that's one of the things that the bible allows but also it 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 allows these two situations where uh, there is sexual sin and the sinning partner is unrepentant in which case you would you'd question their, their their belief in god and the second partner is when the second situation when there's desertion by an unbelieving spouse well that's it for this video again this is dr acha if you're not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and if you like this video you can share it with other people like it uh, so the algorithm can recognize and share it with other people that might benefit from it if you have a question please leave it in the comments below i'll see you in the next video